Hey everyone, Sam here. So I just want to introduce you to Prompt Array. Prompt Array is a place that you can create and catalog all of your prompts that you might use within the variety of AI tools that you're using. So these th those tools could be ChatGPT, Claude, Copilot, and maybe an in-house tool or any number of uh, other tools like develop the, the latest uh, AI first development tools, for example, like Cursor or Windsurf um, or Lovable or a whole range of these new tools that are opening up as well that require good prompting. We built this tool really because I had um, a need myself to, for actually uh, keeping all of my AI prompts together. Because one of the things that has become very true is that you need really high quality prompts to get high quality output out of these AI tools, right? So that uh, has never been more important than it is now. And I'm sure it will continue to be very, very important. If you want to get really high, uh, like specific outputs from ChatGPT uh, or any other AI tools, you need to write really detailed prompts. That is just the reality. Um, writing simple prompts is only going to get you average answers. And so ha having the uh, location where you can save things and um, uh, go back to on a regular basis, just quickly copy and paste those, those long and detailed prompts into um, AI tools is really, really beneficial. Okay. So I'll just quickly show you just a quick overview, right? So you land on the dashboard, um, you create a new prompt up here, right? So you can create a new prompt by uh, typing in a few details here say like email, um, email templates. Okay. And I'll just quickly, I'll just quickly, I'll just quickly copy this down here. Sorry, just getting some old email demo, email templates. Please create a nice email. Okay, and then I can put it in my email marketing and then I can add tags here so I can go emails. I'll just leave it as private for now and then go create prompt. Okay, so then, that then saves the prompts for you in the specific group that you asked uh, to put it in. You can create new groups up here very easily, like, like so. And then if you click into, into this here, you see that you have just a simple page with your uh, prompt, right? And then you can go and here and go one click copy and paste it into here okay now this is very short right i mean you would be happily write that out but where this becomes really valuable is say you have very long prompts like this right say you, you want something ultra specific you want something really specific to the style of your writing or to the style of your emailing or to social media posts or the way you like to develop the um, the tools that you like to use when you develop things. So uh, that, or, or the, the way that you want the AIs to think through a problem. So this is where you you can um, uh, you can catalog a whole range of those prompts, right? Okay. So you have a, a library here. You can favorite certain prompts like so. So say for instance, I want to favorite this one. Easy as clicking that star. Okay. You've got all your prompts here. There's a whole range of templates that you can review. And you can fork them if you want. So fork them over to your own um, one or just get inspiration. Okay. Here are all your groups you can create. You can create new groups very easily here. Now chains, and this is becoming a, a, a this is a new theme. This is a new trend is where you uh, chain prompts together to, to place into these AI tools, right? So you'll see here that you can create a chain where um, you ask, you have one prompt after the other, right? And so you have the ability to quickly create that prompt, copy it, and then you get the answer. Then you ask the next prompt, the detailed prompt here, and then you go ask the next one. And so what we've enabled here is the ability to chain a whole range of prompts together very, very quickly. Okay. So that's a, that's a new feature that, um, is, is becoming a real trend because sometimes you can't get the full answer on the very first go with these AI systems. And so if you want to get really smart about using them to the nth degree, like to, to their highest abilities, you can use these prompt chains. This is this is a new trend, and I'm sure you'll hear a lot more about it going forward. We have a community area where you can leverage off others in the community, what they've created. You've got your favorites area here. 
um, so you can quickly come and grab anything that's your favorite um, very, very quickly. We've made it easy. You can just click once here and then that gets you the prompt and then you can go and put it into your, um, you can go put it into your AI tool. We've got a whole range of templates that we've started building up. This will grow uh, massively over time. So just watch watch here for new, new, um, new content. And then we've got a techniques page. So this is how you can learn about prompts, right? You can learn about how to create detailed prompts. So for example, chain of thought, okay, this is quite a new, uh, this is this trend of, um, of prompting style is quite popular at the moment. Okay, and I can say in the style, so I'm just coming to ChatGPT of chain of thought prompting, please create a detailed prompt to work out financial um, analysis that I'm completing. Um, on a profit and loss statement okay please make it detailed the one thing about using a prompting tool as well is that it doesn't matter how long your prompt is that it's so 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 you can be very comfortable with creating a very detailed prompt and then just uh, locking it away and then quickly copying and pasting it across okay so i use o1 at all times okay uh, for my prompts Okay, and then you see here, draft prompt. I want you to think step by step how to analyze a profit loss statement. Begin by carefully listing out all the key items. Um, okay, and so what I can do is I can copy this, come to home, go new prompt, um, financial. Financial analysis prompt. analysis okay and then I just paste that entire prompt in here like that I don't have a group for that at the moment um, so I'll just make this public actually finance and I'll go add I've said that tag and then go create prompt Okay, and then now I have that detailed financial analysis prompt there for me for next time. I, if I really want it, I can come in here and paste it in like so. Okay. So that's the idea. That's the idea. Okay, I'm going to round off the video here. Hopefully that's just giving you a, a good head start of how you can use Prompt Array and look forward to your feedback. We've got a feedback form here. We're going to continue to make updates on it. Um, this is going to be a really useful tool that you will use regularly if, if, if my own behaviors are anything to go by. If you get this set up well, it can improve your use of AI tools and you will use it on a, on a very regular basis. Okay, thanks all. Look forward to uh, hearing from you and seeing you use it.